Greetings. Feel that? This is the Goblin King. This is going to be a multiple parts little uh, series or part with Star. Say hi, Star. Hi, hi. So yeah, um, there's a lot going on in this uh, grouping of videos. It's all done in like an hour and a half or something like that. I don't know how, I'm, how much I'm going to be able to trim down at. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I think you'll like it. So, thanks for joining us, and uh, I want to say this right now, everybody who was there, which was probably about 15 people, thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you for letting me take my liberties with Star, and thank you, Star, for letting me take my liberties with you. You're very welcome, Goblin King. All right, well, I'll see you on the flip side. Oh, we're back. Shit. Oh, wah, ah, ah, ah. There we go. Lynn feels her strength. Feels the strength K is providing. She hopes she can help the spirits pulling her. Lynn growls but continues to focus on Star and protecting her with divine light. Evel. She narrows her eyes on them. I said be gone. Oops, that's my voice over her, but I said be gone. How about that? <laughs> her voice almost booming as she holds the light. Maybe it should have been I said be gone. <laughs> with a woman's flair. <laughs> the goblin keeps ignoring them all, concentrating on Star, extending his energy from his hand, his skin now, his skin smoking now. Nightwolf stands in front of the goblin, blocking his view of Star. Star glances around them to light from the necklace and the light from Lynn hurting her eyes. She glares at the necromancer. Go home, Velendar. She feels his pull, not just on the necklace now, as it begins to tug on her neck, but her body, the energy she put into keeping the thing safe from harm, as it pulsates red outward once more. Danny frowns as she sees Lynn's focus wavering and, and whispers to the two elements that sustain her. Velandar lo looks beyond the man's physical nature, now calling out to the weave and letting unleash his own yeah, energy. Baby. Oh, is that a spell there? <laughs> All right, now I'm putting on my aura. Here it comes, ready? You remember my aura? Oh God, yeah, I remember your aura. <laughs> I would back away, back away. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Lich aura, Did there it, it is. Eleanor says she sent it for again. Yeah, it's it's not working for whatever reason. It's okay. Let's see here. Let's add it. Check check your um. You're in Firestorm, right? Mm hmm Okay, so check the little box that holds your IMs in the top right corner. It should have, like, a number one, number two, number three on there. And it may be one of those is the invitation to the group. Okay, so I've got a box here. It says Magic Emerald Delete. The next one is a Toru announcement. I'm going to delete that. I got Light and Shadow role-playing group. And then Kathine's and I were talking... Now, Peely. No, Peely? Hmm. There's. Oh, that's all external. Um. It's weird. It's just weird. Did I say that about the unleashes is in? Or, okay. Velandar unleashes his aura, draining all life within. Like, uh, Danny cries out and throws her hands up in an attempt to call the energy to shield her friends. Yeah, now it's this is the big time, guys. This is the big time. Night, back off! Star shouts, trying to pull him back. The amulet pulsating brighter, stronger as she fights the force. Fight the fight the force, I suppose. Oh, no, 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 I told you to... Oh, man, shit, crap. I've got, like, multiple rangers I am in nature saying, we should just kick him out now, we could have attacked him with three lines of RPM, I'm like, relax, play it out, that's what freeform is. <laughs>
There we go. Nine Wolf reaches out to, and grabs at the Necromancer's hand, attempting to stop the Necro. That's bad. Mm -hmm. Feel my <laughs> life drain, fools. Vel feels the aura eating the very life of nature, the grass beneath his feet. Lynn feels a soft breathe. Help Dancy and Kay doing good. Uh, she knows she can't hold it for long. The spirit's pulling at her at risk. She's a risk that's willing to take to protect the spirits pulling at her. Is a risk. For... Okay. She closes her eyes and continues to hold the light, slowly growing weaker from the of being that powerful. She opens her eyes and looks to star in sadness. I'm sorry. She kneels down and begins to pray, the light flowing around her, but star is not as bright or safe. Velandar does not stop the man from touching his skin. He knows if he does, Vel knows the death will be imminent. So yeah, if he touches me, it's done for. Star glances to Lynn and then back to Velandar. Stop! Stop it! Don't hurt my friend! She moves towards Knight to try and tug him back from the necromancer. Then give me the amulet now! Oh, I'm, I said, I've been telling everybody he's about to go bad, like really, really bad and hurt people. And this is part of it. This fucking aura is bad news. If anybody knows about a lich out there, oh, yeah. he knows the lich's aura can be bad. And Vel does a very good job on keeping that in check, but he's not giving a shit at this point. He wants that amulet, even if it's from your dull, your cold, dead, drained horse. How about... Ooh, what is that? Corpse. Edu de Gobo? What? <laughs> oh no no oh who, who did that who did that who did that <laughs> I bet that was Eleanor here we go Velandar growls ignoring the scent his undead body now immune to Linway's effects Tack I suggest you do I suggest you do so that really worth your friend's souls. A lich is not something to toy with. And he's holding back. This is evident. Danny feels and hears the cry of the earth and its energy drained beneath it, her feet, sinking her knees in as she divides the elemental energies. She's been channeling air into linen and water earth to help sustain it okay so now we're Jericho began to rock back and forth continually growling or growing take the shaman she calls out to the spirits beginning to focus the pecs shaman rip her spirit from her mortal body star's hand moves to the necklace her eyes bring tears I can't she shakes her head and moves tonight get up get up she pales. Please stop this. Valandar, I won't give it to you. I don't know what you want to do with it, but I can't let you take it. I made a promise to your son. She shouts. I up. hate you. I love you, and I hate you at the same time. <laughs> so Nightwolf much. weakly pulls out his sword from a sheath. I knew that would happen. I was <laughs> you have to admit, that was a nice call. Yes, it is. Part. That was... Once I bring somebody else into it. Yep. Because <laughs> I think I did promise him that I wouldn't give it to you. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I, did, I made that promise to Lane. Sorry, that's promises. I also made that promise to you. Keep it yep, safe. yep. Kaylin, she feels her own rhythmic hum as she continues to filter. She can back to Lynn. She would hum hers now louder, hoping to offset the own cadence and negate it. Velandar growls now infesting his, er, intensifying his power. Give it to me, Star! Or, it's supposed to be, or I would drain them all! Is yeah. what he would say. Oh, I, I don't care if I have to drain everybody. I will. I'm not literally going to, obviously, because I don't have any power but, to do so. I'm reiterating the fact that your undead to Aragon, your Linway's little potion thing, isn't going to work. Not now. 
I mean, it goes right to me. It's obviously focused on me, but I'm undead now. It won't won't affect me that way. Vel don't like the smell of it, obviously. Lynn feels the energy from Danny. She takes a deep breath, and her holy light begins to grow around surrounding them. She growls at Vel and feels the spirits stop pulling, stop pulling at her. At her, she looks to Star. Don't give it to him, Lynn. Or don't give it to him. Lynn stands and walks closer to Vel. Her holy light shines all around you. Do I dare make you feel the pain of my go goddess, she growls, or I will leave you. Or will you leave before we take you down? Tack, I am not on his side, but I suggest you do as he says. He could easily kill... Blah, blah, blah about painful stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes words just get me. I can't. The little bit of dyslexia I have just has a real hard time. Okay, so Nightwolf crawls and tries to raise his sword to strike the necromancer. Villandar ignores them all. Still, his body now crackling with little flames erupting from his body. Smoke continues to come. Kaylin reaches into her bag and grabs a vial of holy water given to her by Lady Snow. Lupa, she says weakly. She stumbles towards oh, her hands with a jar me. to her. <laughs> oh, I can't even put that. Just leave it. Yes, that will work. It's burning the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is great, and other people are getting involved. I love it. We should do this more often, though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. This gets this me back into it. I like that. More often. Oh, this is so much fun. What what recording program do you use? Fraps. Fraps? Okay, I'm yep. going to start doing this as well. Yep, get it's fun. Started. It really is. And I use Skype to do it over, unless I'm just doing Jericho it Jericho finally begins to feel the drain from Vel. Jericho's... Eye actually twitches as his chandra changes. His mantra of his whole body would begin to fade and change to his spirit or spiritual form. His head would sh take the shape of a wolf, his wing, the wings of an owl, the tail of a fox, his forearms and hands of a bear, his figure standing tall as it focused and turned to Kalen as now he could only be harmed by spiritual magic lest someone passes over. Night will inches away f towards the necromancer, sword in hand. Velander not giving up his power, intensifying it, intensifying the drain of life. With to all within his aura, he feels the light and senses the holy water. Lynn takes the holy water from Kay, and she frowns, knowing the spirits are getting to her through. She can't, though she can't help knowing what is around Star's neck, she holds the energies around her and attempts to throw the holy water onto Vel. Feel the divine light, feel the blessed water, back away and go back to your hole you came from now. She looks to Nightwolf and growls, hoping he walks away. Her attention all on Vel, every last bit of energy would be used on him. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Velandar's aura falters as he bursts into flames. Sora takes a breath, feeling the crushing energies on her like a stone to her chest as they began to drain her, and her eyes snap open once again as the aura fades. She glances to Lynn and Kale. Kale, take your lupa back now! She draws her bow. Time to end this. Uh, Nightwolf stands and stands up, sword in hand. Bastard! Danny cries out at the water. Send him home! Velandar falls and then stands up, breaking his magic over all, over Star and all the others. He glares his evil purple eyes at Lynn now. He reaches up to his mask. Oh, God! <laughs> Lynn feels the energy stop. 
She was drained and tired. This was something new to her. She listens to Star, but knows what Jericho is doing to her. Lynn growls. Stop the divine light. Saw prayers escape her. And stops the divine light. Saw prayers escape her lips as she kneels down. K run. K run. Nightwolf. Don't like to burn. I will make you burn. Mazoria. I don't know. Looks at Lupa. Do you need my help, Lupa? Okay. Thank you for watching, everybody, and thank you for everyone who uh, who was there and involved. And Star, thank you so much for bringing such joy to my heart with doing this RP. You're very welcome, Valley. And uh, just remember, guys. I know it's a pain in the ass to say, but uh, like and favorite, subscribe if you like it. If not, then hey, you know, thanks for at least watching. And great game, guys. Thank you so much for becoming involved. And if you like this video, then hit like. That's the best like. I can say. And don't just do it on Facebook either. Yeah. All right. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Open up.